Okay guys, so this step in the process is um, just forming, shaping the loaf. And I'm going to put it in my banneton. And I could leave it for an hour in my banneton and then bake it. Um, but I'm going to put it in my fridge overnight in the banneton. So I just want to show you how I, how I shape it. Just dump the dough out and you're just trying, you're not trying to squish it down or anything. You're trying to be kind of gentle. You don't want to lose. This is after four hours. Let me see. Yep. Four hours. Um, proofing in my bin. It's risen nicely and I don't want to lose that air. Because it's not yeast, it doesn't typically rise again as quickly as it would if it was a yeast dough. So I'm dumping it out and what I'm doing is I'm pulling and turning at the same time gently just to form it into a ball. And it's tightening the dough on the top. You can see a big air bubble there. I'm going to bust that. Um, which will help it to have more spring in the oven. So it will rise better. It will have a better crumb because it's tight. And not just loosey-goosey. Okay. Twisting it at the bottom is helping to seal that seam on the bottom of your dough. Again, the more sealed, the more tight, while not uh, deflating it in the process, the better your loaf will turn out. I don't know if you can see how the skin on the top is tightening up. It's becoming quite taut. I'm just going to twist it a couple more times to seal the seam. And even in doing this, I find it does open up sometimes, but I just pinch it closed. So I'm just going to keep turning, gently turning. I have no flour on the counter because if it's a little tacky, that actually helps it to stick. If I put flour on there, the seam won't stick together where the dough touches. So I think that's good. I don't know if I can zoom in on this. All right, so I'm just going to take my banneton and I put rice flour all through on the bottom. I make my own rice flour. I use my uh, deluxe blender, cooking blender actually. It, uh, I make all kinds of stuff in it. It was the one Pampered Chef product I hesitated getting because I had a another high-end blender, but it's probably one of my favorites. So you're just putting this rice flour, I just put rice in the blender, blend it up, and uh, make my own. It's quite cheap that way. And I'm just lifting it and gently placing it in this banneton. I'll just shift it, make sure it's flat, and then kind of pinch the edges again. Try and keep that all sealed up. And even with that, probably tomorrow morning, I'm gonna wake up and I'm gonna find it opened and I'll just pinch it again before I bake it. And then I'm covering it. And I use these kind of shower cap plastic covers so that I'm able to reuse them and I'm not throwing out plastic all the time. So there, and that's gonna go in my fridge. It is now 2.30 in the afternoon and it will stay there till tomorrow morning when I get up and I will bake it. So I will be back tomorrow morning. So I'm gonna try and get this whole step-by-step -step thing, start to finish, done in watchable pieces. So if you have questions about one certain area, you can go to that video and look that up. Um, if you're getting any value out of these videos and you want to keep uh, following the process or the other things I do, I you know dabble in a lot of things. I cook a lot of meals. Um, 
because I have a big family and they all like to eat. Also playing with gardening with fresh herbs and uh, vertical planter vegetables, just some beans, spinach, kale, and just life in general. So if you're receiving any value or enjoyment or whatever out of these videos, please click subscribe down below. Follow along with me so that you don't miss any videos that I post. I try to do twice a week. Sometimes it's about gardening, sometimes it's cooking a meal, sometimes it's um, making your own uh, things that we normally buy in the grocery store, like mayonnaise, salad dressings, just different things that typically we run to the store for. And more and more often we get there now and there isn't any. Uh, just wanting to become a little more self-sufficient and less dependent on a system. And if you're interested in any of this kind of stuff, I bake a lot of sourdough, um, again, gardening, growing fresh herbs. I would like to do some infused oils. I've also got some kombucha on the go. So yeah, these are, these are the kind of things that we will be doing here, along with just sitting and having a chat. So welcome to my channel. Um, if you want to follow along, hit subscribe, like the videos, leave comments down below, and uh, let's connect. I think there's a lot of us that are rethinking some things and learning new ways of doing things and maybe developing new talents. So if you'd like to follow along, hit subscribe. Thanks for coming. Oh my gosh, this hair, I cannot do anything with it.